Good morning, everyone. Good morning. <laughs> I'm here today with Judith Rochester, and we're going to start the Blog Talk Radio show real soon. And for those of you who are joining us, you can get excited because today is January 31st, and it's an unusual astrological event today. I've been reading oh, up about the what? fact it's a blue moon, a super moon, and a total lunar eclipse. Amazing. <laughs> and the last time this happened was 150 years ago. So, very special. Very special. Very auspicious day to yes. have the beautiful Judith Rochester with us. <laughs> Thank you. I'm so thrilled to be here yeah. with Willa. Minute until <laughs> it's, it's always a lot of fun. I, I know people have been really excited about this particular topic. So, right. they'll probably have questions or comments or maybe their own experiences that they okay. have with spirit yeah. guides. You know, sure. know what yeah. they share. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be great when people are coming on. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wish I knew more about the uh, astro astrology of all of this. There Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Wednesdays with Willa. I am your host, Willa White, and this is Lilydale Radio. And this is my show where people can come and chat uh, with uh, my special guests. I like to have a different topic every week, and we cover something new and have different vantage points that come on the show from people here in Lilydale. And today, we're very blessed to have with us Judith Rochester. Thank you for being on the show today. Well, thank you. Thank you. I'm really looking forward to being here with you and spending time talking about spirit guides and yes. teachers. That's our topic. Our favorite. Well, it is. One it's of our one favorites. Of our favorite things to talk about. Yeah. Spirit guides and teachers and, and how in our lives. Yeah. So we're going to be covering a lot of that today. I do want to let people know that there is the call-in number. If you want to ask questions at all, you can call us. And the call-in number is 818-739-8818. Again, 818-739-8818. And so if you're wanting to uh, view this on Facebook, you go to Willow White Medium. And uh, you can also check out things on my website at willowwhite.com. You can listen in on blogtalkradio.com slash lilydale. Uh, radio and find us that way. You can listen to the archive shows. That's an audio only vantage point. Uh, the Facebook I leave up on my page. You can view that and, and view those in the archives of, of uh, my Facebook page. And uh, with with our, our guest here today, Judith Rochester, she has been a mediumship development teacher for many years. Um, as as long as I've been a medium and longer. <laughs> so many, many years. And she's yeah. one of my, my mentors and really a delightful person. And you. you're, you've written books and you are an amazing woman. Tell us, tell them a little one bit book. about you. One, one book. book. One book. But other things you've written too. <laughs> tell, tell us a little bit about Judith before we talk about spirit guides. Okay. Guys. Well, um, I came to Lilydale because... I, not because I wanted to be a medium, and not because I was wanting to communicate with my own spirit loved ones, but to communicate with my spirit guides and teachers. Mm. Uh, and yeah. it was <laughs> puzzling at first, and, um, and then I, I found my way. And that was because I had had... Um, communications with them and I think what uh, what's part of my life what has meaning for me is when I connected to them just at first just to a divine light just to their shining presence it opened me to another dimension 
to the real world. Yes. Like the world of infinite life, of joy, of yeah. goodness. And I think that was my search all my life in different ways. So I went into, I was a teacher, um, thought I was uh, wanting to pursue, go back to school to pursue literature, which I started to do, and discovered philosophy, mm -hmm. Greek philosophers. Um, and they opened me to that same message, that uh, wisdom is exploring what lies behind the appearances of things. Yes. That brings order and meaning to the life. Unseen. The unseen. <laughs> so, um, so my my search, I would say, looking back through marriage, having children, traveling, um, studying, then being uh, at the university teaching and all of that is is uh, part of the same search, mm -hmm. search for truth. Yes, the search for truth. So I think that really defines who, who I am in a kind of objective way, but also in a way that touches, um, touches my heart, my soul, mm -hmm. that that's, um, that's still who I am. Absolutely. Absolutely, and, and that's something that shines uh, from you, well, thank in, you in the work that you do. And, and you. for those of you who don't know, uh, Judith has a development circle. She did retire for a number of years, and we, we all missed her dearly. And now, now she's doing the circle again for the last couple of couple years. Couple years, yeah. yeah. She's mm -hmm. back mm -hmm. doing a Friday night circle, and that's at what, what time at is that? At 7, 7 okay. to 9. Seven to nine, and the usually assembly hall. that first hour is a different topic every week that you right. talk about, practice right. with, discuss, right. and then that second part of the circle is the giving and receiving of messages. Of messages, from sometimes reading, sometimes yeah, in all kinds of different ways. Upliftment, and it's an unfoldment circle. Right. I always liked it that it was uh, uh, titled in that way, but it's right. an unfoldment that we are unfolding. Right. Because the beauty of what spiritualism is about is that it's so optimistic, isn't it? It is. That we're born as a soul. We're born as a spirit. Mm -hmm. We're born with that inner light and life and love. Um, we're not born sinners. Uh -huh. Right? <laughs> <laughs> and so our life is an unfolding realization of who we really are, who we really are, and uh, our journey to the, the discovery of the infinite, of God, right? And, it, and it's good to be things. able to contemplate that and and move into a place of of bliss in a in a um, in a fellowship, right? Uh, that I think, happens in the yes, circle with you, in especially. A circle. When people are so busy in today's world, they come in. And just sitting together, mm -hmm. and then meditating together, being together. Practicing their mediumship and aligning yep. mind, body, spirit for that purpose. Right. And so this is a development circle that is held at the Assembly Hall and hosted by the Church of the Living Spirit here in Lilydale. And it's an open circle with a, with a donation for each $10, circle. $10, right. $10 for <laughs> a wonderful class and a wonderful time with Judith. And you, you have you know, through the roof attendance Yes, every Friday yes. that you do this. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> so if people want more information about the circle, where would they find that? So um, on the church, at the church, there's a flyer mm -hmm. up on the internet. Sure, if they go to Church of the Living Spirit right. uh, website, which is here in Lilydale, they can check that out. And it's during the off season. During the season, we're very busy with, with the many, many activities that Lilydale yeah. offers. So uh, this is something that's offered during the, the off-season time. Right. And it's called Awaken the Medium in You. Ah, Awaken the Medium. Yes. <laughs> yes. In you. And, that's and they can, they can uh, find it, uh, uh, they can email me. My my email and computer has been off for about a month. <laughs> What's the But email? I've been away. Uh, so my email is spiritinsights at 
Gmail. Okay, com. so Spirit Insights with an S. Yes. At Gmail. Gmail. At gmail.com. So if anybody's interested in knowing more about that, they can email Judith at that right. address. So let's talk about spirit guides. What are spirit guides and teachers? What are they? Yeah. Good <laughs> question. <laughs> and I think what is maybe startling at first is to realize that that they are spirits. They are of a different quality of life. Mm -hmm. than we are. So they may come looking like a person, looking like a material person, um, but they are in, they come from a spirit dimension, spiritual dimension. Yes, because we, we live so, multi-dimensionally. Right. And in fact, if you do more studying about the aura, different levels and layers right, of the aura right. are connected to the different planes <clears throat> of existence. Right. And so spirit guides are usually of higher plane existence, mm -hmm. and they're here to assist us in our life. Right. And they take on various roles. Right. And I think most of us are aware of, I think without realizing perhaps, even before you were interested in mediumship, we were all probably aware, but maybe didn't know we were aware of a uh, presence, like a guardian angel or a protector. Yes. Somebody who brought comfort, perhaps, or helped us in a difficult driving condition. And this is different from a loved one in spirit that's passed it's over. It's different, yes. It's not a family or friend. This is someone who is a higher teacher that's right. there to assist you. Though some people do have spirit loved ones as their guide. And they, I think they're more spirit helpers. Yeah, okay. In that, okay. In that sense. Okay. Yes. And they can mentor them as well. <laughs> We've got so many teachers available to us, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> right, yes. Even out here on the earth plane, sometimes our parents, our family, our friends like yeah. that are our mentors to us. And then we have other teachers that help us uh, through different levels of education or training that we have. And it's exactly the same, isn't it? Only on a spiritual on, level. On the, on the spiritual level. Yes. So yeah, what are some of things. the primary spirit guides that we have in so, in our gang, our <laughs> band? Our, right. So they group. come, we may be only aware of one who is a spokesperson mm -hmm. for the group. Um, so as mediums, we have our, a particular one called a gatekeeper, and that... Um, guide or teach well a guide is the one that kind of takes charge of everything that makes sure that whatever spirit loved one comes through is the right one for this particular time for yes. this particular sitter their energies also all blend and create a beautiful beautiful uh, uplifting um, environment for both you as the medium, but also for the sitter yes. to experience the sense of the presence of spirit and awaken that soul, the soul deep within. So they know um, when their loved one comes in that life, that they are truly still existing, that life is eternal. Yeah. So um, the gatekeeper is, is a very, very close to us as mediums. Right? And oh, every day. Yeah. <laughs> and I, wait. Yes, yes. It was called the control. And I've used that sometimes in class, and that isn't the nice word for today. <laughs> for control. today's time, people get all upset ups, about the word control. control. <laughs> How about some self control, people? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, but it, it did, it meant that, again, holding to the vibration, holding the energy, guiding. Uh, with just one's presence, yes. these these higher beings of intelligence, they have a wonderful, superior wisdom and compassion, and they're drawn to us. We'll get on to who more of them, yes, right, more. yes. But they're drawn to us uh, through the law of attraction. There's something in them. Mm -hmm that we have an affinity for and they have an affinity for. So in some ways, who comes through can show us in a way where we're going. Our yes. higher. With a higher self. Self. Yes. Which that, I love that. I love that. So um, 
it, it, it all it blends such a beautiful, beautiful synchronicity. And eventually, as you build up your understanding of your own mediumship abilities, what happens with your gatekeeper is on automatic pilot. You have trust that you've built. They are there whether we can sense them, we whether can you sense get that presence. kind of de detail or not. Right. And so many people, when it comes to spirit guides, they may see a color first, or they may just be aware of a presence next to them and not see any defining features. Right. They just know. Right. And so there, there's a lot that has to happen on a trust level yeah. with this initially, especially if someone has not developed clairvoyance, which is seeing of spirit. For them to get upset that they haven't seen spirit or seen their spirit guide, it's like, well, you need to develop that right. in many ways right. first. And just know that they are there. And trust. And trust, and also. Oh. Good morning. Thanks good, for having good, me. Good morning. What's your name, and where are you calling from? Yes, this is Mandy. I'm calling from Pennsylvania. Wonderful. And what's your question about spirit guides? Okay. Um, are you uh, able to connect to my spirit guide this morning? We're not doing readings today. We're just talking about spirit guides, okay. the, what the different functions of them are. And how they're working in your life. Okay. All right. And maybe it's best then for me to call back in the future. Okay. Sounds good. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Bye -bye. <laughs> yes. We're not doing readings. We're not connecting with... Keeper, when you were talking about trust. Yes. That really is key, right? Mm hmm Because as an instrument, you work infused in a way where yes. your vibrations are meshed. Mm -hmm. And so um, you you work as one yes. with them, and that's service, and that's the essence, isn't it? It is. Of mediumship. And they're attracted to work with us. Our spirit right. guides are attracted to work with us because they see that we're ready to take that next step in our spiritual development right. uh, or in our mediumship and utilize our spiritual gifts, and they're wonderful teachers for that process. Right. And uh, Before I forget to mention right. it, when it comes to spirit guides, I've noticed that they will come and go depending on what you need in your life. The teacher that you need in third grade is not the teacher you're going to need in twelfth grade, is not going to be the teachers. Yes. And that's their basic um, purpose for coming to you, is to teach. Yes. Uh, to be there. And they are elevated presences mm -hmm. who've often been through a great deal in their own lifetime. Yes. Come from cultures that were evolved. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> enlightened. Yes. And uh, have just what we need to grow and learn. Absolutely. So we can always just sit, relax, and go in meditation, or however we um, can establish that connection, and we can ask. Yes. We can ask, ask, ask for anything. Request. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> And then we open to a whole other dimension of understanding. We do. And there's a lot mm -hmm. of peace that comes from all of that. So and so, and I'll try to bring them in, bring them closer, get a message from them on some level. And uh, yeah, I use the messenger frequently. Um, it's like when I need my cats in at night. <laughs> I call on my spirit cat. Yes. This yes. is an aside. Mm -hmm. They're little messengers and they go out, only they're messengers on this, <laughs> they come down on this plane yes. and find and kind of urge Herd my the cats. cats uh, <laughs> home. Herding cats. Oh my goodness. So Herd it's them a home. similar. <laughs> I realize it's wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. You might as well send someone out to go get. Go get it, or if you can't, if the ESP isn't getting through. Right, right. If I'm not working, they'll, they can. Absolutely. So then there's the chemist. Yeah, the chemist. And I, I don't know if that was more relevant during physical phenomena. Of course, probably most. Oh, it's, most it's relevant you. during mental, if you ask me. Well, mental, I find, but I, I'm not, um, because of the physical phenomena, because it was so, the body was so uh, pivotal mm -hmm. in True. terms of uh, dealing with using ectoplasm mm -hmm. that that was that was a critical 
Um, so the chemist is, <clears throat> is like the doctor, is, is uh, in the sense of getting things in order for your body to do higher vibrational work. Right. And as you are shifting in your consciousness and your spiritual development, your body starts to shift. And even to do the work as a medium, I notice my body shifts to do that, especially Definitely. because I'm clairsentient. Right. So, um, what your body needs are. Yes, and, and yeah. how how that relates to your mediumship and also yes. your life outside of mediumship because right. we do have lives outside of being mediums. Right. We are human and right. we're still um, handling those things. And and so it, it's helpful. I, uh, I think that a chemist is also helpful with medical intuition. Right. Uh, not that that's what we specialize here in Lily deal with, but right. um, the idea of medical intuition and helping along yeah. those lines a chemist. Yeah, so you're taking it to, to doctors, so sometimes too there'll be chemists and doctors. That's true, they separate. That I, I often will. Just... David, what's your question about spirit guides? Yeah, my question about spirit guides is, uh, do you feel as though there's any communication at all between spirit guides? Is there any two-way communication between a person's spirit guides and, uh, let's say, angels? or any other type of entities, or is a spirit guide just strictly uh, more of like a earthbound level, I guess, for lack of a better word, or do they work in conjunction with each other? So that's a lovely question. It is. And um, there are differing opinions about that. Uh, some, um, perhaps some, some of the management that animal spirits um, color spirits, joy, the joy, joy guides, elemental guides, fair, all kinds of different dimensional presences can be our spirit guides and teachers. Even for some uh, spirit loved ones, people will say, are there spirit guides and teachers? And again, so it's very open as to uh, what we, what we, think of in that category. But the key is who helps us. We all have vibrational frequency and not everyone senses spirit on that level, but that's how I do it. And, and that's, that's helped me in the hierarchy so that during a reading I know the difference. So uh, that's how I would answer your question. Does that help you, David? Oh yes, definitely. It absolutely does. Thank you, ladies. Oh, you're, you're very welcome. welcome. Thanks for calling in today. <laughs> and I would add. Thank you, please. Oh, pardon. What? what did you say, Judith? Well, I would add that yes, I am. Um, clairsentience is the angelic as well as the. So, for example, the um, National Spiritualist Union mm -hmm. is a group that definitely acknowledges angels as part of their. Yes. So that's why I was. Right, I, and I agree with that. Just to be inclusive. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and there, you know, that's the thing. That's why, you know, when it comes to spirit guides and teachers, right. they they take different forms. Yeah. And that's why I especially enjoyed the book, Jonathan Livingston Siegel, because I felt like in that book it was an a easy way for people to understand the concept of Ascended Masters, right. the concept of people then helping, going to different planes of existence and helping right. those uh, that needed it. Right. And One way is your way. Alice Bailey, you know, the, the idea of different planes of existence, I think that is helpful for people uh, if they want to read. It's a bit dry to read, though. <laughs> if if you really want to do it, you can. Or you could read Judah's book. Yes. And Judah's book is uh, To Touch the Soul, How to Become a Medium. And she has uh, things about how to unfold spiritually, but also about spirit guides like we're talking. That's yeah. that's a chapter that's yes, in part, there as well. Partly. <laughs> And also on the higher planes. On the higher planes. Yes, yeah. on the higher yeah. planes. So that's so, great. Uh, let's talk about a few more things. And yeah. I, I know we've got more callers we want to get to, but okay. what else did we want to talk about with spirit guys? Because we have other ones too. Right. Um, okay. So, um, what other ones are you thinking of? Well, I. Oh well, let me just say. Okay, go first, ahead. Uh, what's important for me? Yes. Is <laughs> that uh, for each band? Uh, for each. Phase, for example, we're talking about readings and messages. Yes. Um, when we talk about 
a particular gatekeeper working the way that, who, that um, ensures that spirit loved ones come through who are right for that person for the session. Yes. Now, there are other phases of mediumship, uh, spirit writing, spirit art, spirit uh, speaking. Yes, excellent um, points. Yes, All of those, spirit photography. And for each one of those, we have different bands. So our, our spirit writers, for example, inspirers, are a different group because they, they, they influence, um, still our inner senses, our soul senses, but they also influence our arm. Yes. And so speech, this is the chakra here, it's connected to the arm, so mm -hmm. it makes sense that they have, they can influence that writing. Accent yes. So I think that's exciting to know and then all of that. Yes, so when I was talk, asking about teachers for my teaching, mm -hmm. working as an instrument to teach mediums, he, one day he came to me and said, I'm now working with you as a teacher. So his role, he, he shifted his role and I sensed his presence as a different kind of vibration. Yes. And in a different kind of locale mm -hmm. in my consciousness. So, yeah, he, so again, as a teacher, again, a different, whole different band of teachers, and it's, of uh, spirit, guide, spirit guides and teachers. I, my, I thought it was interesting when I was uh, really developing and working with spirit guides early on, my mother and I found out that we shared a spirit guide. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> that was yes. Because like, I was like, Mom, I met this spirit guide, guide and this is what And she's like, that's mine. <laughs> so it's possible, you know, they are working with more than one person. Yeah. You can still feel That's special. True. It's okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so that can happen. Also, I've had um, people who are, who have passed that are, go with color num with the ending in 0569. Again, 0569. And we're going to see. <laughs> uh, welcome to the show. Let's see. I thought I did it. Well, I have to do it again. Hello, welcome to the show. <laughs> Hi, what's your name and where are you calling from? My, my name is Laura. I'm calling from South Carolina. I had two questions. Okay. Um, with spirit guides, when you're around someone that can cause you harm or seems to be almost, uh, as they say, psychic vampire, do your spirit guides seem to like step aside so that you keep, or step in front to protect you, generally speaking? Because the ability seems to shut down when you're around those type of people. That's what it knows with me. So it's interesting, your, your question, uh, a protector. On the one hand, when we're, when we're growing and developing uh, mediumship, we can be very vulnerable to um, our environment, to different um, energies that perhaps aren't always beneficial for us. And we have guides that strengthen and help us uh, with on the unseen level, strengthen our aura, strengthen our inner life, our, our soul life, so that we um, we can pre follow our path and not get drawn away or drained or uh, in some way um, lose get out of touch with with who we are. Um, so these presences and angels and archangels, all kinds of animals, all kinds of different spirits can be, keep the white light around them, whatever, mm -hmm. that higher light. Mm -hmm. There is another side though to your question and to the whole issue of protection, self -def psychic self-defense, so to speak. Um, mm -hmm. And the key there really is the development of our own inner strength, our own inner connection to God and spirit. So that when we meet up with situations in our lives, we're expressing love and uh, pouring out our positive uplifting energy to the world. We're giving instead of being passive recipients of 
whatever is coming to us. So there is a sense in which uh, there is, nothing can harm us. You see what I'm saying? Ultimately, because we are Ultimately, souls. Because we are souls. But, you know, we can lovingly and firmly deal with people, and I think it's important to have healthy boundaries. So, yes. So with all of that, can, and our, our protector, our spirit guide protector can assist with that. Right. And, and also our connection with God. Yeah. And knowing that we can always okay. call upon that to see us in the lion's den. You know, like right. Daniel in the lion's den. When you go in that lion den, you you, you want to get yourself as zen as you can. <laughs> and not be uh, afraid and not not uh, let that fear right. be fed with someone like that. So, so with, with you have to not on. leave them uh, and any energy to do that with. Yeah. yeah. So with the caller, okay. um, if... When you're talking about the lion's den, mm -hmm. or if there is a particular situation that's that's frightening or depleting or that's really challenging, which is what it sounds like yes. with you, the caller. Um, is it David? I'm, I'm, no, no, it's <laughs> uh, um, uh, that's when sometimes we may choose also to not. To move, move, to move to a different space, to just not have contact until with some situations or some people, yeah. especially if you're new to the spiritual path or if you're journey. And we do tend to be more sensitive and possibly even right. hypersensitive right. as intuitives. Right. So it's important to get those healthy boundaries and, and to set yourself up with a protector, right. but also know that you are... And that if somebody's at reacting in those ways, there are methods. And I think we'll talk about that in another show. Yeah, that's a whole <laughs> show. It, yes, that's a whole is, show. Is, is, that, <laughs> is that helpful, I, though? Is that helpful to you? Yeah, it was. Good. That was very helpful. Thank you very much. Oh, you're very welcome. Thank, Thank you. you for calling in today. <laughs> I know we just have a few minutes left. Oh, really? Time goes so fast. And I... Um, we, we've got other people that may want to call in, uh, but we only have a few minutes left. And uh, why, why, why don't we talk about the fact that you have a, a, a workshop coming up? Oh, okay. We should mention I was going to say, too, um, how to connect with spirit. Guys. Oh, yes. We need to talk about that. Well, uh, go ahead and We're, say that. Okay. So um, <laughs> it's really important um, to relax. Um, be in a place where you can, if you want to connect with spirit, uh, be in a place that's, that's peaceful, uh, that's free from interference, your special place where you meditate, relax. When you relax, your busy mind, your conscious mind dissolves, and you're more in that alpha state, in that uh, state of consciousness, where you can then attune to the unseen. So don't think that you can't because you're not doing it with your normal conscious mind. You need to take the time to be in that relaxed, uh, quiet, serene state. Mm -hmm. And then meditation, guided meditation, then can take you there where you learn to, um, or you just simply can, uh, let go of this earthly presence. Mm -hmm. And uh, allow you. Ninety seconds. It goes so okay. fast. <laughs> yeah. So let the guided meditation take you there. And there are wonderful it. guided meditations. Yeah, that can and help you. I know you have things in, have in the book that are also helpful. Yeah. And connecting with with a spirit guide right. and right. be in that purposeful space of of saying a prayer and asking your spirit guides to come close and just paying attention to what you're given and not thinking in a moment. What about it? We're gonna have plenty of time to think about it later, <laughs> and just enjoy what's unfolding. And it it is a process. It's not something that you're gonna know everything about your spirit guide at that particular time. I want to mention do this workshop that's coming up, and the title of it is "In the Service of God and Spirit." It's about how to develop your uh, mediumship. How to develop mediumship, <coughs> and it's in. Uh, April, right? April the 6th to the 9th here in Lilydale. It's, it's over a weekend, on, right? It's over a weekend, yes. Yeah. And it's up on Lilydale Assembly uh, website. Yes, it's it's one of the spring classes that Lilydale Assembly... So if you go to lilydaleassembly.org, 
Yes. Uh, you can find information about Judith's workshop. Uh, wonderful mediumship. She's a wonderful mediumship teacher. Thank you. Thank <laughs> so you. Thank it's you. Like, I can't speak more highly uh, of her. You know, my goodness. Um, time goes so fast. So tune, tune in next week. I'll be having Tom Kratzley as my special guest. We're going to be talking about Andrew Jackson Davis, who worked with spirit guides and who was an amazing, amazing medium and uh, intuitive. So I really hope you can tune in next week, same time, same channel. And I appreciate you, that we're here today, Judith. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you. It's just been a blessing. As always, it goes so quickly. Goes it we could talk all day on we it. Could. We could. <laughs> we could. So <laughs> thank you so much for, for listening in. And we'll see you next week, everyone. <laughs> Well, and uh, just so everybody knows, uh, Tom Kratzley is someone who lives here in Lilydale, who is a healer, who's really well versed in spiritual topics, and you're going to have a great time with us next week. And I, I hope that you really uh, are able to embrace the information that Judith was sharing with us today and our spiritual conversation with you all. Keep developing, keep developing your connections with your spirit guides and trust. Thanks for... God bless everyone. everybody. God, God bless. bless. And even... Do we have time? Yep, go ahead. Um, even when you sit in the morning, one thing I do when I'm uh, after prayer, a little relaxation and so on, I tend to let spirit just um, come through writing. I just... If you, if you like to journal, if you want to get things out just on paper, it's a beautiful way on a daily basis to just let them uh, commune and... Uh, to grow and learn that way. And you get used to allowing spirit to work with you in those ways too. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Judith is, is wonderful. Thank you nice. so much again, Judith. Oh, thank you all. Bye everyone. See you Bye. next week.